host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Big day, you guys ready? We got a message for the teachers? You heard it, baby. All right, let's do this, David. Come on, Lewis. Come on, Antoinette. Let's go. Teachers, you ready? Yeah, okay. Okay. Big show. We got some winners on this one today. Welcome into the classroom, everybody. Today, it's our students. We got three great ones and our teachers. They're the ones that teach them all their knowledge from John B. Stetchen Charter School in the Kensington section of Philly. And they just entered the classroom, the show where students are going to go head to head with their all time favorite teachers. Philly showed up to support them in the bus. What's up, everybody? We got the whole cheer squad here today. It's all on the line. I'm talking $500 cash to the winner. Bragging rights for the classroom forever. But we're jumping today's show off. You guys aren't going to believe it. With a pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, energy in this room is awesome. That means this game starts right now. How many leaves does a regular shamrock have if it's not a lucky clover, Mr. Mangles? Three. Three is right. In the United States, the letters RD can be seen on street signs as abbreviation for what word? Mr. Mangles. Road. Road is right. The mythical Bermuda Triangle is located in what ocean? Mr. M again. Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Apparently, he's the only one playing today. Flaps of skin between a duck's toes form what kind of feet that act like paddles? This is Polacek. Webb. Webbed is right. What is the name of the snowman who has a corncob pipe, a button nose, and came to life? Miss McIntosh. Frosty. Frosty. Students, get you in the game. You got to use those buzzers nice and quick here. The Babylonian Code of Hammurabi, carved onto a massive stone pillar, is one of the earliest written sets of what? Miss McIntosh. Punishment. Incorrect. Students for the steal. Free guess here. No guesses on that side. We're looking for laws, legal codes, or at edicts. In which fictional book series by Jeff Kinney do you find Crossland High School? Lewis? Wayside. Incorrect. Teachers for the steal. No guess on that side. We're looking for Diary of a Wimpy Kid, one of my favorites. What type of graph looks like a circle with slices that illustrate how a whole is divided into different parts? Mrs. Palachek. Venn diagram. Students for the steal. Looking for a chart. Slices in it. Here we go. Lewis buzzed in before the bell. T-chart. Looking for that pie chart or the pie graph, the circle chart would have done too. That sounds means we are out of time for pop quiz. Teachers, 50 points on the board. Our assistant principal up there was on fire. Students, no points yet, but the good news is it's a 30-minute show. We only used up 28, so plenty of right answers are going to come your way. $500 is what's on the line, and bragging rights, students, to say you're smarter than your teachers. Now, look, don't worry about how you got out of the gates. Do you feel like you got this one in the bag today? Yeah. I love it. Okay, so, Antoinette, if you guys win, $500 is a lot of money. Where's that going to go? Um, we're going to put it to our eighth grade activities. Oh, nice. Anything in particular or just kind of anybody needs some cash, you got it? Um, prom. All right, nice. A long way away, only in eighth grade, but I like that you're invested. It'll be worth a 1000 by the time you get there. Teachers, Ms. Palacha, good to see you. Wonderful to see you. Team captain here, if you guys uh, win the 500, you have to decide where that's going to go. We're going to do holiday incentives. Oh, nice. That's a yeah. perfect place to put it. Give it right back to the school. Awesome. Look, everybody's smiling. They're pointing at each other, saying, you're the best. No, you're the best. Well, I'm tired of it. So we're jumping into detention. <laughs> Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay, okay, I'm going to start with the trailing team. Let's get these students jump-started here. Your category, guys, for detention is literature. You can play or you can pass here. You can talk about it as a team. Play or pass. 
Are you for break? Need an answer, guys. Do you want to play the literature or pass it over to the teachers? Pass. We're going to pass it. Here we go. Teachers, good luck. In what book series does Will Stanton discover on his birthday that he is the last of the old ones? Immortals sworn to protect the world from the source of evil, the dark. We have a school counselor, a math teacher, our assistant principal, no English teachers. Need an answer, guys? The immortals. The dark is rising. Great pass from the students. Good job, guys. And this is the good part. Now you get to pick one of your teachers to send to detention. Who's it going to be? Mr. Mangles. Wow, okay. Mr. Mangles, our assistant principal. Is he the guy that usually gives you your detentions, Lewis? Yeah. No. Yes, no. So we've had him before. We So that felt really good, that answer that, huh? Okay, well, we'll see if we can do another one for you. But teachers, category goes to you. It's the government. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Good luck, guys. What kind of legislature consists of two separate houses or chambers, such as the House of Representatives and the Senate, which make up the United States Congress? You can talk about it, discuss it, if anyone's feeling... Answer? Supreme Court. Bicameral is what we were looking for, so no correct answer. Teachers, another good pass from you guys. One of these students has to join our assistant principals, Mr. M. Who's it going to be? Um, we're going to go with Antoinette. Team captain Antoinette, she doesn't stop smiling, but she's going to be going to detention now. See, that's the camaraderie I love. You get a detention, you high five the other bad kids in detention. You're like, we did it. Okay, here we go. Students, back to you. Category, math. Play. Here you go. What is the next number in this pattern? 11, 22, 33. 44. 44 is right. Okay. I love Lewis, Devin. I love that you guys are buzzing in, but you're not actually playing against anyone else. Just, just yourselves. You can put your buzzers down for this one. God, you guys are so ready for everything. I love it. All right, be ready for this. You got to send one of your teachers to detention. Is it Miss McIntosh or Palachek? Miss McIntosh. Miss McIntosh, our math teacher, seventh grade. She's taught these three math for the last three years. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're down to our final teacher over here. Yep. Our team captain. Here's your category. It's geography. Pass. <laughs> Good luck, guys. You get this right. Put your heads together. You win this round. Here we go. What is the largest country in South America by land area? Again, you don't have to use the buzzer, Lewis. I will call security on you at this point. Uh, Brazil? My man gets it right! Yes! And he wins detention! Hey, you tell her to go to detention. That's where she's headed. Because you know what we gotta do? We gotta celebrate, everybody! We win the round! Gets him up to 40 points for the game, and it's a 10-point score. We got three teachers in detention, and we come back, we're going to put our heads together. See how well we can S-P-E double L spell. We'll see you right after the break. Stetson Charter School in the Kensington section of Philadelphia. Look, it's the home of the Stallions, and this is one of the best Stallion cheerleading squads I've ever seen. You guys having a good time today? Yeah. Hey, let's meet some of their classmates. Hi, I'm Antoinette. I'm an eighth grader, and I'm also a cheerleader. Hola, me llamo Luis. I go to the gym, and today I'm going to teach my teachers. <laughs> Hello, my name is Devin. I'm in eighth grade, and I love to play video games. Ms. Plagic, I'm the school counselor, and today I definitely brought the tallest and most littlest, cutest audience members ever. <laughs> Hello, classroom. My name is Mr. Mangles. I'm the assistant principal at Stetson. I love these kids, but not today. Hi, I'm Ms. McIntosh. I've had these students through sixth and seventh grade, and I hope today that they forget everything they learned. Hi, Grace. That is what I'm talking about. We got three great teachers, three great students, but how well can they spell? Let's find out.
Okay, guys, here's how the game works. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'll give you a word to spell and only 10 seconds to do it. If you get it right, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter at any point, you're out of there. Eliminate everyone from their side. 30 points gets added to your score. Students, you guys had a great round last time in detention. Got up to 40 points here. If you make it through this round, I'm going to give you another 10 points for every person left standing. Here we go. Now, look, today's theme is all about the rainbow. We're looking at colors, guys. All different kinds of colors. Here we go. Let's play some spell check. Ready? Yes. I'm sure you are. Let's play yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W. Yellow. Orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. Good job. Silver. S-I-L-V-E-R. Lilac. That's a color. L-I-C-A. Sorry, bud. Lilac, you're out of there. Down to two students left. Sienna. S-I-E-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Good job. Good job. Indigo. I-N-D-I-A-G-O. Sorry, bud. You got an extra A in there. How about it? Antoinette, you're rocking fanny pack today. You're the only student left. Hold on tight here, okay? Apricot. A P I C. Out of there, down to two teachers. Here we go. Scarlet. S C A R T L E T. Out of there. I cannot believe it. Our students are out of chances. Our teachers win the round. 80 points for them in the score right now. Students with 40. It's anybody's game. Before we go to break, I'm going to give my students right now a chance to get some extra credit. You guys, get your pencils ready. Here we go. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute, not a second longer, during commercial breaks to write down their answers. Each correct answer, 10 points. Here we go. Here's your question today. What is the term? for a pair of singers or musicians who perform together. For example, I'm talking 21 Pilots, or like Florida Georgia Line, two of my favorite bands. Okay, there you go. There's the question. Do you have the answer? I'm gonna give it for you when we come back. Today we have students and teachers from John B. Stetson Charter School in the Kensington section of Philadelphia. Now before we went to break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. Trying to get some more points on the board here. What is the term for a pair of singers or musicians who perform together? For example, I gave my favorite two bands, 21 Pilots or Florida Georgia Line. I like a little bit of everything. So teachers, we're going to, excuse me, students, we'll start with you. You guys said... Do it. A duet. And teachers, you said... Duet. <laughs> Incorrect, guys. We were looking for a duo is what we were looking for, not a duet. Miss McIntosh was like, I told you guys. <laughs> I told you. So no extra credit points there, but the game continues. Now, guys, I want everyone to smile right into that camera there because we're going to picture day. <laughs> Happy to say this to Lewis specifically. Go ahead and grab your buzzers, everyone. You're going to need them for this one. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, guys, one at a time. With each clue, I'm going to remove three more of the boxes. First person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture is going to win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, though, be very careful. Your side's locked out. The other side's going to have a chance to buzz in and steal. We have three pictures today, everybody. Smile. Let's play. These characters launched in the 1980s. Lewis. Uh, American Girl doll? Is that American Girl doll? Yeah, my oh. man, Lewis! Okay. <laughs> Lewis' favorite toy growing up, what no. was it? <laughs> was it Hot Wheels? American Girl doll, no. my man. I love it. All right, let's go. Here we go, guys. Picture number two. That was incredible. Let's see if you can do this again. One clue. This basketball star was born in Canada. Who's our friendly neighbor to the north here? I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you three more boxes here, plus one more clue. He was drafted by the Cleveland Cavaliers in 2011. Oh, 
God. Lewis again, but smacks his forehead. Uh, Kevin Love? Is that Kevin Love? Incorrect. Teachers for the steal. Anybody for a guess? The Mr. Brian Palachuk? James? Excuse me? LeBron James. LeBron James. What a guess. Nope, he's American. That's okay. Oh, I didn't see. Here we go. Clue number three, guys, and I'm going to use three more boxes. This should give it up. He, uh, he has a daughter named True with Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> Lewis buzzes and puts his hand up. Tristan Thompson. Thompson. Tristan Thompson is right. <laughs> Anybody buzz and then put their hand up in the air. So, I mean, we are getting to every aspect of trying to buzz in here. Just don't throw anything at me to get my attention, okay? Let's go to picture number three, guys. Last one. This fictional character appears in books and movies. Tough one, guys. I'm going to give you three more boxes. This should help you a little bit. He is an eccentric business owner. Mr. Mangles. Willy Wonka? Is that the dub dub? Ah. That's exactly who it is. That's Big Willy. How about it? Teachers get up to 90 points. Students, you guys are really, really in this one with 60. Both teams are going to have a chance to win, but put all the other books away. I'm tired of these mini tests. I want the big one. It's final exam time. Woo! Okay, here you go, guys. The topic of today's final exam is automobiles. All right, I'm going to ask teams three questions each about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is 100 points. You're going to work together as a team of three during the commercial break. But let's hear these questions because it all comes down to this. Question one, final exam. Good luck. What was the name of the first affordable automobile manufactured in mass from 1908 to 1927 by Ford Motor Company on their moving assembly lines? That's question one. How about it? That's worth 100. So's this one. Question two. What YouTube sports entertainment group of five guys with their own Nickelodeon show posted a video called Stunt Driving Edition featuring a red car with a basketball hoop attached to the roof? Finally, here you go. Question number three. This one's also worth 100 points. A boy named Greg takes a photo of his father's new car that weirdly shows the car completely wrecked in the fourth book of what R.L. Stein series. There are your questions. 300 points on the line. What separates these students from infamy? Well, it's three questions right now and a commercial break because when we come back, we are rocking and rolling, and we are crowning a champ right here in the classroom. But before we go, if you want to be a part of the classroom, here's how your school can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Inside the classroom today, we have students and teachers from John B. Stetson Charter School. They're going against each other. Students, teachers. It'll be students versus teachers for classroom supremacy. Right here, we find out who's going to get crowned victor. We have three questions all about our final exam topic. It's automobiles. All right, three questions, guys. Good luck, everybody, as we get right into this thing. What was the name of the first affordable automobile manufactured in mass from 1908 to 1927 by Ford Motor Company on their moving assembly lines? Students, you guys are 30 points down right now. Devin, you got a great head of hair. You look good. <laughs> but can you answer this one correctly? Let's find out. What did you say? F-150. That's a good truck, though. Voted a world-class five-star safety rating, but not the right answer. Miss M. Uh, the Model T. That's what we were looking for, the Model T. Here we go. We move on to question two. What YouTube sports entertainment group of five guys with their own Nickelodeon show posted a video called Stunt Driving Edition featuring a red car with a basketball hoop attached to the roof? Lewis. Dude, perfect. Dude, that is perfect. And just like that, we're back within 30 points, right? You guys win this thing. Are you celebrating? 
<laughs> okay, yeah, don't answer, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna stay there. You're gonna go big, right? Party? Yes. Yeah, am I invited? Yes. Okay, come on, please do it for me then. Here we go, let's do it. Mr. Mangles, do you said dude perfect? One direction is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> heck of a band, heck of a band. And it comes down to this. Question three, you guys are 30 points away from each other. Someone's getting crowned victor right here. Good luck to both teams. A boy named Greg takes a photo of his father's new car that weirdly shows the car completely wrecked in the fourth book of what R.L. Stein series. Students get this right or teachers win this game. Antoinette, what did you say? Goosebumps. Goosebumps is right and gets you up to 260. They're feeling it. Victory is in their fingers. They got it right. And the people standing in their way, teachers, what did you say? Goosebumps. Oh, come back and hold on to the victory. Teachers are the big winners today. Come on out, students. That's all right, man. We're going to get them next time. How about it? $500 is going back to this school. We'll see you guys next time on The Classroom. Thanks for watching, everybody. I thought you had it. I thought you had it. Good job, cheer squad. You guys are awesome. Stetson Crowd. You had it, huh? You had that question right?